First of all, you take your white cotton swab. You're gonna put a little bit of viscosity buster, like a quarter size in direct center of it. The next thing we're gonna do is find an inconspicuous part of the garment that's not gonna ruin the garment. So I'm gonna use the bottom hem of the back of the shirt. I'm gonna put my white cotton swab right above that fabric. I'm gonna press it at 320 degrees for 30 seconds. When it's done, we're gonna peel off the fabric and we can actually see some staining immediately in the fabric. At May Lab, we use the AATCC scale, which uses a one through five, five being no migration and one being horrible dye migration. But those are like $800, so I use this simple gray scale I got for a few bucks. Right here, we have our white, then we have our different levels of gray. So if you imagine this on a one through 10 scale, equating to a one through white scale, 10 or five being a great printing garment and zero or one being a horrible printing garment. You can see that our space black has a little tiny bit of dye migration, but not much. This would probably go as a three and a half or four on the AATCC scale. Counter that with our night sky navy, and you can see that's probably around a two or a two and a half. So it's about double the dye migration of the space black. If you have slight dye migration, you might want to switch to low cure or low bleed inks. If your dye migration is in the middle of the road, you probably want to go to some type of polyester ink. And if you have really bad issues like this rev fabric, you're gonna to wanna to go with a blocker or barrier underbase. Here you can see on this fabric, standard look here, poly white, better, but to really get a good result, you have to have that blocker underbase. 